away from the bustle of everyday life, where the heavy step of busy commuters and the incessant rumbling of rushing cars disturbs the delicacy of their work, a group of committed researchers dedicate their time to the study of a fragile and fascinating world, a world that is very often overlooked by us, but is nonetheless crucial to the survival of our species. The study of insects has been around for centuries. In fact, entomology has offered researchers a plethora of specimens from which to analyze and assess that which approximates to over 70% of the world's biodiversity. The Maltese Islands present the perfect habitat for a rich and diverse array of insect species, which have evolved and adapted to the specific climatic conditions, giving rise to completely new species not found anywhere else on Earth. Researchers use several methods to gather insects from their natural habitat, ready to be examined and classified in order to enhance our understanding of the natural world. At the University of Malta, under the supervision of Professor David Mifsud, a world-leading entomologist, a team of researchers is going to great lengths to ensure the proper collection, analysis and recording of data of various insect specimens. However, one distinguishing feature that is required of any etymologist working in this particular field is patience. Techniques utilized for gathering insects include general sweeping on low-lying vegetation and beating of shrubs and trees. Sifting of leaf litter is another method used in finding small insects which are to be found only in this type of habitat. However, one of the most difficult insects to collect are those living deep in the soil. The process begins by digging holes into the earth. Bait is attached to special traps before being inserted back into the soil. Such traps are left for several months before they can finally be recovered. Insects are gathered from the trap space, ready for examination. At the University of Malta, this technique is being utilized for the very first time on the Maltese Islands. So what happens once insects are collected from the field? Insects undergo a process of mounting. A specimen can be pinned or else dry-mounted onto cards to be then appropriately stored in entomological boxes or cabinets. Appropriate labeling and data is written down for each specimen before being examined under a high-power microscope for classification. Given the extreme variety of insect sizes, it can sometimes take more than six hours to properly prepare a specimen for mounting before the microscopical examination can take place. Important steps during this process include the removal of body contents, clearing and staining. Once the examination is complete, the specimen is mounted in a permanent medium. While work at the University of Malta continues, one of the goals of these researchers is to create a unique database for the six to 8,000 species of insects present on the Maltese islands that can be accessed by everyone. Such data will be essential not only to the scientific community, but to anyone interested in biodiversity and the natural environment. Another aim includes investment in digital optics for the capturing of high-resolution images. Continued research at the university will also ensure studies are undertaken on insect groups that have so far received little attention locally. This will enable results to be issued in specialized publications in order to further shed light on the infinitely fascinating world of insects.